Hi everyone, I'm Olga. Welcome to my channel. Uh, recently I've been watching many videos from people about uh, their coloring books collections. And I thought maybe it's about the time to make an updated version of such a video for me too. Because last time when I recorded such video, I had only 40 coloring books. <laughs> and at the time I thought it was a lot. Yeah, And now I counted all my coloring books and I have 106. And you know what? Now I don't think it's a lot. <laughs> I think that's just the amount that every self-respecting colorist is supposed to have, at least 100. Yeah. And so I thought, yeah, I will do such a video. I think there will be two parts. I think there will be enough time to um, show everything in two parts, but we'll see. Uh, from all these 106 books, I have only one finished. Yeah, shame on me, but yeah. <laughs> but at least one. And this book is this one, Giant Mandalas by Jane Sneden Peaver. I have a full flip through of these completed books. So, if anyone interested to see all the illustrations, you can find this video on my channel and now I will start with um, big coloring books I hope have only three such big books and the first one is this uh, Pierre the Maze Detective and the Great Coloring Adventure it's by a Japanese artist Hiro Kamigaki but it's an English edition uh, it's really big and all the illustrations are like double spreads and a lot a lot of small small details it's really a challenge to color this book <laughs> and I haven't colored anything yet and actually I don't know whether I will maybe one day but it's, it's interesting to have because it's unusual yeah. another book that I consider a big one is HBO Game of Thrones official coloring book I think many people know this book and have it in their collections I colored only one double spread in this book this one and to be honest I hate it um, to start with the illustration itself was quite boring for me and I just wanted to try different medias on, on, on this paper so I chose this paper, this picture because it was the last picture in the book but it was uh, a challenge to color it because I felt so boring but somehow I managed to finish it though of course I could make some shading on the faces and maybe somewhere else but I felt like no done with it <laughs> but uh, on the whole I, I love the book and I hope I will color something else in it one day <laughs> the next book is uh, Fantastic Beasts I think the English name is by Angela Reeds and here I did only one page this one I I did it with pencils I remember it's a beautiful book there is some information about the creatures in this book 
the paper is quite smooth. Yeah. I love this theme. I have quite a lot of books with uh, mythical, fantasy uh, theme. And now I will show you my very first coloring books. The books that everything started with. I started coloring in 2016 in summer. And these were the books that I bought at the time. And I was buying like very simple books, like doodly type, because I thought I don't know how to color and like uh, complicated pictures are not for me. So, and the first book is Relax and Focus Coloring. Very simple, it's just patterns. But I still color in it because it's really very relaxing and um, you feel nice <laughs> while coloring such uh, simple pictures once in a while. And I did quite a lot of pages in this book. Maybe I will finish uh, this book one day too. The next book is Cats. Um, doodly style and this type of books they're really like tearing off very easily have two or three like this and they all like this at the time I enjoyed this book yeah, and colored quite a few pictures in it yeah but now um, I don't feel like coloring in it Maybe from time to time. Oh, the next book is um, Nature Labyrinths. It was original. Originally, it is from French French publisher Larousse, uh, but I have Russian edition. The same problem here. I think I colored one page from it, but I keep it um, in a file, not here. Same type of illustrations, uh, patterns on nature theme, leaves, flowers like this. Some are quite cute, like this one with owls. Uh, uh, the next book is um, a Russian edition, uh, CEC by Ksenia Grumova. Again, this type like uh, dood doodling. Some sea creatures with doodles. It's not bad, this book, but yeah, like nowadays I'm not attracted this type. I have uh, a couple colored in it but I keep them in in a file. Only one left in this in the book and this I did with all pastels. Uh, this is a Russian edition book of um, what's the name? Some gardens. Enchanting Gardens uh, by Nicolette Corley. Again, floral, floral designs in doodle style, or zentagle you call it, I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, very simple. And I did only one page and it is mandala. <laughs> That's it. Um, the next book is The Day of Cat by Kong Hai Jin. Um, again, I did a few illustrations in this book, but now I, I don't like this type of cats. How they draw... Um, like you're supposed to find some um, hidden pictures 
inside the kit like here there is one rabbit and one peacock here's the rabbit and the peacock here it is yeah but again I'm not interested in this book anymore Uh, the next book is um, a Russian edition of um, the original name is um, Hidden in the Jungle by Sara Mutsu. I did a, a few pictures in this book, but yeah, I got bored with it. And <laughs> not my best illustrations in this book. And uh, now when I look at these pictures, they make me smile. Like the way I colored the leaves, it looks awful. Then three books by the same artist, uh, Poppy Appleby. I bought them in in London. <coughs> I was <coughs> there at the time. Um, and the first one is The Forest of Serenity. They're, these are quite nice illustrations, but the problem is they're two-sided and the paper is quite thin. And um, such uh, pictures, suppose that you will use, um, you have to use something like markers, fine liners, but then they bleed through. You really can't color this uh, with pencils, such small details. So that's uh, a negative thing about this book. I colored. Yeah, this one, terrible background color, <laughs> not looking good with, with, with the illustration itself. That's it, I think. <clears throat> the next book by the same artist is Enchanted Dreams. Same problem. Some interesting illustrations but the paper not that good <clears throat> and the last book is the secret lagoon this one is my favorite from the three like this fish is really nice if I could color it with Fine liners. Yeah, I have. I will have to sacrifice the page on the other side. The illustration. And here I did. Yeah, this moment. I tried watercolor on this uh, terrible paper, and of course, it didn't work. <laughs> Now I will show you my smallish books. They are either small in size or they are very thin. And we will start with The Beauty of Horror, Ghost of Christmas by Alan Robert. I bought it quite recently on, on last Christmas. Really a fun book, nice paper and illustrations are on one side only, so I think I will enjoy coloring in it. I already did this page and this. Then comes the book from Nepal, Color Nepal. I bought it actually to support local art students 
not the time to font of this um, book it's okay you know like very simple illustrations from different people and they all like about Nepal I haven't colored anything yet in this one and then this one small book birds on bikes uh, by Jacqueline Schmidt again this type of books which I don't like nowadays quite thin paper but um, illustrations are on one side only and you have some quotes on the other side there's some nice cute illustrations here yeah. and I did only one I tried aqua markers on this paper not my best coloring <laughs> then we have uh, four books from Pictura three I got for this uh, last Christmas and one I bought myself and um, what I have uh, they have very many books and I choose uh, Medieval Town these books are really nice and cute and nice paper and they are not big like it's possible to finish them really quickly then comes Anne Yvonne's Gilbert's Night's Journey Wait. I love this theme though I can't imagine coloring the many people and horses I mean people in armor then Deborah McFarlane's Midsummer Night's Dream again very beautiful illustrations I love it I haven't colored in any of my picture books yet. I don't know from don't know from which I I want to start. And the last one is Wayne Anderson's Enchanted Forest. This one a little bit different style. I think this one would look good colored with watercolor. Very beautiful. Uh, then comes this um, Metamorphosis book. It's a Russian edition of uh, French coloring book. In French version, it is quite big, like A4 format, I think. But I have Russian edition, and it's that small. They are really interesting pictures in the book, like see the man, then you turn and again you see the man, <laughs> and here again, it's a very interesting book, and like this one, you, you can see an old man, right, and then you can see a kissing couple I colored like two illustrations here I think very simple this one and this one use some sparkle here again not my best coloring I was just testing medias Uh, 
the next book that I have is um, a coloring book from Cambodia. I, I brought it uh, from my recent visit of Cambodia. Again, the pictures are drawn by students, art students, and when you buy the book, you support the students. And I think the illustrations are quite interesting. So I got it. The next come two books from Good Wives and Warriors. Uh, Escape to Christmas Past and Escape to Shakespeare's World. Uh, these books I bought quite a long time ago. And again I just was learning how to color so there are many pictures like of different level <laughs> I would say some look better some look like um, childish maybe but yeah that's okay at first I started like coloring in order one by one but then the board <laughs> some are quite nice I mean, like this one, very bright, and I have some cakes here, yeah, these cakes I like, how they turn out. <coughs> In the Shakespeare's world, I colored less, but still, there are a few. These are nice little books and uh, good paper, really, and um, il different illustrations, like you can find different theme. I love this dragon. Nice book. Uh, the next book is uh, Gods and Beasts, a mythological coloring book uh, by Adam Fisher. Love this book. One-sided pictures, a lot of mythical creatures from different countries. But again, I colored only two pictures because I have so many that uh, it's hard to choose where to color where my finished pictures one is this rooster and then where is Freya? I can't find her nah. It's like code book. My heart is like a singing bird. I use it for my diary. There are different types of illustrations with quotes. I did two pages and they are in my diary. The next book, it's like A4 size, but it's quite thin. Yeah. Uh, Rhinestones, Spurs and Feathers by Rick and Dennis. Again, I love the theme, these glamorous women. <coughs> the illustrations are drawn in such um, sketchy style. <coughs> But they are very beautiful. 
I got one page only so far, this lady in fur. I really like how the fur turned out and uh, the diamonds. Um, this is again a very thin book, Cat Therapy Russian Edition book by Yanina Mironova. It's like a Zen Doodle type again. Uh, these are cats and I'm a cat person so I just had to buy this book. <laughs> I did a few pictures on it. Then comes another Russian book, uh, Gods and Spirits of uh, Ancient Slavic, translates like this, and there is some information about uh, the god or the spirit, and the illustrations are a little bit doodly again, haven't colored anything in it yet. Another two Russian edition books. Uh, this one like um, Celtic and this one Africa. Very very thin and simple illustrations but interesting. I did this page and the Celtic book and in Africa I did a little bit more <coughs> again very nice illustrations and I did these two pages very bright and colorful <coughs> and that's how I imagine Africa <laughs> and this lady <coughs> Then come three books uh, from same publisher, again Russian, art coloring book. This one is Mystical Creatures by Dinara Bruma. Um, quite unusual style of illustrations, a little bit, I don't know, doodly, or, but still you, you can figure out uh, the picture within all these lines when you color it I did like for example this dragon when colored they look very nice and yeah this fairy also and these two three guys the second book is uh, Slavic Motifs and the uh, artist, what's the artist name? Idna Lisa Gurska. Again, very similar style. Really nice illustrations, love this one. Many, many details again, but when you color, then you see you see the picture like here and yeah I did this one as well and the third book third book is Russian fairy tales Dinara Bruma again anyone Familiar with <laughs> Russian fairy tales? Any? <laughs> I did this one. Tsar Tsaritsa. <laughs> and I think I did another one. Yeah, this one. Uh, 
Uh, the next book is uh, by Ludo Maya, Million Cats. I think many people have this book, especially cat lovers like me. He colored um, a few pages in this book. And yeah, here, and this one. And the last of my small books is this um, Bennett Klein's Color My Sketchbook Mythic. It's a grayscale. It was my first grayscale book. I wanted to try coloring grayscale. And so far I colored, finished only one this picture. I used nail polish uh, with sparkles here. <laughs> and another picture I started but I can't finish it. Like, uh, I don't know, I forget about it all the time and I, I don't like, like how it turns out. Um, actually, there is almost nothing left to color but yeah, I have to finish it. <laughs> Kenneth Blind Klein is a um, quite popular artist, but I got only one of his books, this one. And now we'll be looking at my square books. And we'll start with John Abbasud's coloring books, of course. I think everyone knows them if not everyone have them, but at least everyone knows about them. But I think everyone has at least one book by John Besford. So the first one is Secret Garden. I've got quite yellowish paper print. I don't know, it's, it's too much yellowish. I did quite a lot of pictures in this book. The secret garden is really not my theme. My favorite is I think the lost ocean one. Then maybe in, in ivy. And the garden ones um, like no, not exactly mine. Enchanted forest. Again, a bit yellowish paper, but not as much yellow as the previous one. I did a few pictures here. This fox and a dragon, I think. Yeah, I did one, one dragon. I love how it turned out this page. In my plans, I want to color the second co uh, dragon as well, but we'll see. <laughs> the Lost Ocean. Here is nice whitish paper. I think uh, I did the most pages in, in the Lost Ocean book. Everyone knows these books. And um, quite a lot of people finished um, at least one of Joanna's books. I've seen flip throughs. Nice. I wonder whether I will be able to finish one of her books, at least Lost Ocean. Would be great. The Magical Jungle. Have a few pictures finished in this one. I haven't buy the World of Flowers yet. I'm still thinking whether I need it or not. <laughs> because flowers is not exactly my thing. But 
the illustrations are really beautiful in that book, yeah. So I don't know. And the last that I have is Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I colored only one page in this book. Yeah, this one. And I have a video how I colored this mandala. Uh, then I have two books by Kirby Rosanes. It's Mythomorphia. Again, I think almost everyone have this book. I love it. I haven't got that many pages in this book, but um, at least a color in it. <laughs> Not just keep on the shelf. And Geomorphia. My recent purchase. Haven't colored the, uh, anything yet in this one. When you look at these illustrations, they seem quite uh, simple, like nothing that much complicated. Then, uh, oops, sorry, one book fell down. Then we have Zimla Snova, Tamislav Tomic. Amazing artist, amazing illustrations. I love this book. I love these illustrations. This is definitely one of my favorites. But I don't color that often in it. I was planning to do like this double spread and even wrote down the colors that I used on this page but again I forgot about it and it's left like this did maybe five sticks in this book I don't remember exactly how many I colored. And I used only colored pencils because I'm really scared to use, like, I don't know, watercolor or watercolor pencils. And of course I have William Sun, the second book by Tamislav Tomic. It's thinner than the first one, but all the illustrations are in the same style. I did only this double spread in this book. Nothing else so far. Ah, I love it. So many books that I love. Uh, this is Russian edition book um, Enchanted World by Ekaterina Yeltuhovskaya. It's quite old books, book of mine. And at first I colored a lot in it. But then kind of, I don't know, got tired, got bored, something. <laughs> They're different kind of illustrations. More complicated, more simple, and some are like uh, with too much black. One of my first dragons. I was so proud of it. I still love the colors, but um, <laughs> I see mistakes like shadows only here, but should be supposed to be here as well, <laughs> but never mind. Still looks beautiful. 
like on this page there were a lot of black lines and I used acry acrylic painters to cover all that yeah I did quite a lot in this book the next a book is Dream Weaver by Olivia Whit Whitworth. Again, I, I love this book. I love the illustrations. But I haven't colored it in it for a long time. I did a few spreads like this one with acrylic, so very bright, I call it psychedelic dream, <laughs> and then this one page, this is the way I like, I love coloring, very bright, <laughs> when it's not bright enough, then I feel like, nah, it's not that good, this one I did with Jyota colored pencils, again, very bright, Beauty of Horror by Alan Robert. It's his first book. And at the start I was coloring quite a lot in it. But then again, kind of put it aside and forgot about it. I used acrylic here quite a lot. Completely changed this page drew this, painted these roses and changed his face to make him look more pretty. <laughs> yeah. It was fun coloring in this book, really. I need to start coloring in it again. This one is um, more or less recent purchases, Cursor Pirate Girl by Jeremy Bastian. It's like a graphic book. But I, I really love the theme, you know, pirates. And um, they're quite <laughs> interesting characters in this book and quite unusual, I don't know, creatures, so I was attracted to these illustrations, like again crab, like an armor, and so far I colored only one page, this one, Quite thick paper here. Uh, the next book is Christmas to Color by Mary Tanana. I don't have that many books uh, of Christmas theme. I think two only this one and Escape to Christmas Past, that's all. Quite nice illustrations in this one. I did, I think, two illustrations only. This one. And this Nutcracker Mandala. The next book is The Mysterious Library by, um, by who? It's quite a known book. In Yunji Park. Uh, 
go ahead and glue the paper. Uh, there are different fairy tales illustrated in this book. Yeah. And I did only this double spread. The next book is The Nature Mandala by Cynthia Emily. These are different types of mandala of nature theme, like animals or um, sea creatures. Yeah, I did a few in the book. Yeah. But no date much. And here comes uh, the official Game of Thrones coloring book. Um, illustrations by different artists, four different artists. Yeah, I did this the tracky page. And this um, Lysandra page. And this um, Starks winter is coming. How you call this thing? I don't know. Beautiful book, yeah. I wish I could color more in it. Then come to books that I bought at our local Japanese uh, shop. Uh, I've seen them under different uh, names uh, from different publishers, so I'm not sure. It's like a mystery who's the artist. This one is called Wonderland Forest. Quite thick paper. Um, quite nice illustrations, a little bit in Joanna style. As you can see, and but uh, pages start tearing off. You see, I did only one this page in this book, and the second is Marine Life coloring book. Again, a little bit in Jonah style, but there are quite a few uh, cute fishes in this one, interesting, like these ones. And this one I like. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, buy, I bought this book. But I colored only one page so far. Then comes again Cat's coloring book. I don't know who's the author. Uri Lika Stex and Claire Lude. Very cute and funny illustrations in this book. A must have for cat lovers, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I did a few. <coughs> it's really easy to color in this book, uh, like relaxing coloring. And quite good paper because I used watercolor in it without any trouble. Um, the next book is this Russian coloring book, uh, which translates as um, A Fair Land of the Middle Earth by 
Russian artist Roman Pisarev. I have a flip through this book. Very beautiful illustration illustrations of um, the Tolkien books, the Tolkien's characters, stories. I haven't colored anything yet in it, but I love love the illustrations. I can look at them just as they are in black and white. Uh, the next book is the Vi Wizard of Oz coloring book and um, the illustrations are based on the original illustrations by William Wallace Denslow, the first illustrator of this book. Uh, they just added some backgrounds, I think, some maybe doodling, something like this. And here we have an uh, illustration on one side and some quotes from the book on the other one. Haven't colored anything in this one. But I thought it would be nice to have such a book in my collection. Quite interesting pictures. Uh, the next come Celtic Mandala's coloring book by Lisa Tenzin Dulma. Uh, these mandalas a little bit different, like with Celtic theme inside them. And there's some explanation of symbols like this. Wait. Haven't colored again, nothing in this book and uh, the next books again um, dedicated to Tolkien's books a best chair of Tolkien by Mauro Mazara again I love the illustrations and again haven't colored anything yet in this book. I usually take it out, look through it and then put it again <laughs> on the shelf. Very beautiful. Uh, the next book is Color of the World. Uh, this one, not one of my favorites, like it's okayish book because uh, the picture is not hand drawn but like digitally uh, drawn from the pictures I did only two illustrations here one this one and this one this one with due to turbo glitter pens it looks very sparkly in the light Okay, it's okay book. Uh, then I have the Witcher coloring book. Again, it's by three different artists: Mariana Strechowska, Yu Chen Tan, and Scott Wade. I heard. Uh, a new TV show coming this year, The Witcher, on Netflix. It would be interesting. As for now, I haven't read the book and ha I haven't played the games. I just love the illustrations. So far, I caught only one picture, this one. And that's it. So I think uh, that will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching my collection and see you in the second part. Bye!